We're going to have a look at doing some fraction of a, fractions of a quantity word problems. So we've got this example. There are 20 pieces of fruit in a bag, a mixture of apples and oranges, quarter of the bag are apples, and the question is, how many apples are there? So from the question, we know that there are a quarter of the pieces of fruit in the bag are apples, and there are 20 pieces of fruit in total. So we just need to work out a quarter of 20 using the rule of divide by the bottom and times by the top. So we're going to do 20 divided by 4 times by 1 and the answer is 5. So there are 5 apples in the bag. Part B says how many oranges are there? Now we know the total number of pieces of fruit in the bag is 20. We know that only five of them are apples. So to work out what's left over, we can just do 20, take away the five apples, would leave us with 15 oranges. So there's 15 oranges in the bag and five apples. Here's a different example. So this one says, which of these is worth more money? Two fifths of 300 pounds, or three-sevenths of £350. So what we're going to need to do is work out the answer to each of these and then decide which one is bigger. So let's just do two-fifths of 300. Using the rule is 300 divided by 5 times by 2, because we divide by the bottom and times by the top. 300 divided by 5 is 60. So we're going to be doing 60 times 2, which is 120 pounds. Now for the other one, 3 sevenths of 350. So we're going to be doing 350 divided by 7 times by 3, divided by the bottom times by the top. 350 divided by 7 is 150 and then we need to do oh no it's not ignore me it's 50 skipping ahead and then we need to do 50 times 3 which is 150 sorry I skipped forward to the answer so this one equals 120 this one equals 150 so which one is worth more money well it would be the 3 sevenths of 100 of 350. So that one is worth more.